here's the thing when you get sunburned who cares but like if you peel that's the issue right it's not cute but also it's like whatever who cares but but if you pee if you get a spray tan on top of a sunburn and i'm gonna insert these photos to producer courtney i'm actually gonna not forget i'm gonna airdrop them to her right now um they're so bad i will insert these into the youtube video this is what happens if you get a spray tan and then you are already sunburned and then you start to peel the spray tan just peels off so i was at my best friend grayson's wedding two summers ago last summer 2020 yeah two summers ago and i had gone on a, it was in july so i had gotten sunburnt and then got a spray tan right on top of it and literally the day of her wedding the spray tan looked good for like three days and then the day of her wedding i was like that's weird what's this and then it was like all hell just broke loose on my skin and like the last thing you want to do the day of your best friend's wedding like i was one of the maid of honors like the last thing i wanted to do was fucking be like oh my skin oh my skin god how could i fix this everyone's like shut the fuck up you make everything about yourself so i was like i did not say a word until one person was like what the fuck is happening to your chest and i was like this chest nothing <laughs> she was like can you cover that up? I was like, I've been trying for the last two hours. There's not a shade of makeup that can cover it up. And she was like, can you put more spray tan on it? I was like, I've done that for an hour. She's like, huh? And I was like, huh? So all that to be said, I am now picturing that those photos you just saw happening on this vacation that I've been so excited to go on for the past month with my boyfriend and his family. And of course, as you guys know, I bought the most fucking fabulous outfits for, okay? And as you guys know, I love a low cut moment. So I'm just fucked, okay? I'm just fucked. And why? Because I forgot for two minutes that I was ginger, okay? You're ginger, grow up, grow up. So yeah, I basically, um, I had a, I cried. Um, okay. So I call Anna Grace. I'm like, Hey, I wasn't crying at first. I was like, Hey, I was like, I'm so mad at myself. I, um, I asked her to create a spell. <laughs> I said, can you create a spell? We all know Anna Grace is our, uh, our local friendly witch. Okay. 100%. She's got every trick up her sleeve. She can. Um, and yeah, I was like, is there any like mantra I could say? Is there anything? And I was like, I know, I know it's like the person on Facebook, my friend, John Chris has this really funny bit of like all the, the dumbest shit people have asked you to say a prayer for. And like one of them was like, please pray that there's not a long line at Chick-fil-A, like say prayers for uh, cousin Timmy. He's trying to get tickets to the red hot chili peppers. It's like all this dumb shit that you're like, we're not praying for that. Okay. Anna Grace was like, yeah, I can help you go with something. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. Anyways while I was telling her this and Anna Grace, if you think about it, Anna Grace and coach, they were n not long distance as in far away from each other when they first dated, but his job, may I remember she used to like FaceTime him once a day and it was such a big deal. And I'd be like, she'd be like, I'm sorry, I have to go upstairs and FaceTime him. And I'd be like, Oh my God, who cares? But you do, if you only have one form of communication and it's FaceTime and you can only FaceTime him for 30 minutes a day, his job would let him only FaceTime for small amounts of time a day when he was like in preseason and all the kind of crazy stuff they were doing with football. I just understand on such a deeper level now how important those things were. And so anyways, I call her up because I'm like talking to her and I'm like, and I just haven't seen him in like a month and a half. And I've been looking forward to this. I'm like, I spent so much money on clothes. <laughs> Stupid. And I was like, um, and I just, I'm literally going to peel and it's so annoying. And of course, Taylor's Hawaiian ass was just like, so just don't get a spray tan. And I'm like, just don't get a spray tan, <laughs> Hannah Burner. She's like, just stop getting spray tans. So I'm like, I'm going to go to Portugal with my boyfriend's family and his hot like mom and sister who are so blonde and tan. And I'm just not going to get a spray tan. Fuck off. I'm ginger. I'm getting a spray tan. So anyways, um, I was telling her all this and she's like, no, I know. I understand more than most people like how important this trip is to you and da da da. And also like, I'm not just going to Florida, flying to goddamn Portugal. <laughs> like it's, it's a lot of effort, right? And I just, I, I got a little choked up and I was like, and I just feel like I'm just fucked it all up. And she was like, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a deep breath. And I was like, okay. And it was like, you know, when you are being so stupid and, uh, just like annoying as fuck and you, you like you, it's an outer body experience and you like see it, but you still can't stop it. But you're like, oh no, I'm crying about a sunburn. I'm not even crying about a sunburn because the sunburn doesn't even actually hurt. Can you guys see it? Surely pretty red. Um, I'm crying because my spray tan is going to be messed up from the sunburn. So like I needed to, I need to shut the fuck up. Okay. And so since then, other than explaining it to you guys on this podcast, I've shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up about it. Um, but we will see how the trip goes.